Or actually, let me turn it down. Hans might yell, I guess. How am I this good at this game? How am I this fucking good? Holy shit! I am the fucking best! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god get fucking down and bow down how the fuck did i see that holy shit yeah okay <laughs> all right uh okay that's uh, um um all right anyway yeah I, I will say, joking aside, of course, of course, Hans Hans is a little bit too over the top there with what he says. Um, but in general, I am I, I am very happy for Hans that he that he played well and won. Um, so so even if the reaction is, is way over way over the top, um, in in general, uh, it is very impressive to see him play good chess. So I am, I am happy for Hans for winning. That being said, should show a touch more. Um, should, he should show a touch more uh, class. But again, that doesn't take away from his chest. His chest was great. So, so um, very, very impressive win. I think he beat Jeffrey six to four, if I have it correct, in the blitz blitz cup. Maybe it was six to four. Um, but nonetheless, uh, but nonetheless, very, very good. So, um, kind of weird. Well, you know, I, I will say honestly, um, like th this is the thing, and it'll be interesting to see down the road with Hans in general. Like, like so. There, there, one thing I will say is, as most people know. Um, as most people know, uh, how do I put this? How do I how do I put this in in the simplest terms? Okay, so so as as, as most people know, um, I don't. I when I was younger, I was also kind of like this too. I would not say that I was someone who was super. Uh, XTC does this all the time, and you all all love it. Um, well, well, well. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop for a second. Oh, is, is Hans here? He might be here. Um, but anyway, as as I was saying, um, in in general terms. Uh, in, in general terms, what I would say is I, I was kind of the same way. Like it, it wasn't on stream per se. Like it was much more, I would, I would play, um, I would play games and, and instead of, um, instead of talking, cause there weren't webcams and things, I would, I would write, write quote unquote shit per se. Um, and, and so I would kind of do the same thing, except instead of it being on camera and, you know, sort of this way, it was more typing. Cause back in like the late nineties, early two thousands, you didn't have webcams. You didn't have the same kind of thing. It's different, different world that we lived in. Um, so, so, so I'm, I'm no stranger to this because I certainly had this period of, of time when, um, when I was much the same, but what I would say is that of course Hans, he, he, he'll need to mature a little bit for sure and, 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 and get over the stage. But the, the thing that, that is really important in terms of this is that Hans, if he has these sorts of emotions, he's feeling this way, he needs to kind of use that as a way to, um, use it to like sort of use it as like the motivation or use it as the fuel. So, so that's the thing I would say, like, I, I mean, he'll mature, he'll grow out of it, but he needs to like use, like he needs to find a way to use that as the motivation. Cause I know with me, a lot of like when I was younger, what helped me was like when people, when it was, I felt like it was me against the world and people did not, um, did not like it or, or like they would say these things and I would get into this, this toxic atmosphere or the back and forth. Um, uh, is that that really helped me cause I would use it as like the fuel that became the motivation for me to um to sort of just keep keep use keep getting better and keep progressing forward so um again like hans is very young he'll grow out of it it's it's, it's all good um i think i think the thing though is it's finding the right way to right balance to use it as um to, to use it some people th still think i'm like that yes i'm i'm well aware of that you guys i i will probably never be forgiven for for those sorts of things um but i can say that that, that i hope for for hans's sake that he that people won't hold this against him forever either um, because a lot of things that happened when I was much younger, people still hold it against me and they hold it against me even like nearly 20 years later. So, um, you know, that's, that's just life. But I do hope in the, like people will learn, um, that people change first of all. And secondly, like with someone like Han specifically that like he'll grow out of it. He'll, he'll obviously he'll, he'll mature. Things will, things will, things will keep going forward. Um, and people won't be like, Oh, look at Hans, you know, in 15 years, but like, Oh, Hans, like, look at Hans. He's, you know, he's still that same kid from like 15 years ago. Um, so 
So yeah, I mean, as far as Hans goes, though, in general terms, there's nothing wrong with it, but he needs to find a way to use it as as motivation. Use it as like the motivation. Use it as a fire to keep keep progressing forward. Um, I can't really see what's wrong with it. He's just an excited kid. You know, it's funny, Chuck. I actually, generally speaking, agree with you. But from personal experience, I can say that things like this that happened to me when I was younger, people people say will still say very very negative things to me um, for much of the similar kind of behavior. So uh, so it's so it is it is funny that you say that because I don't see anything overly wrong with it. Sure, it's in the heat of the moment, and everything, but I don't think there's something terrible terribly wrong with it. But if if there was a clip like this of me from 15 years ago doing literally the same thing Hans just did, people would be playing this clip over and over and over. And I'm saying like I'm like the the worst person who's ever existed. So um, I, I will I will say that. Uh, so so anyway, it's it's all good. Um, what Hikar is saying is that this won't be your last top thirty blitz win. I mean, Hans is very talented. I've never said that he isn't. I think for Hans, um, the the main thing is again if he, he's he's very emotional, which is completely fine. But he has to find a way to use that in a way that like it sort of provides the fuel for him to 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 improve. Like use it as the motivation. Um, that being said, very impressive win. Jeffrey is playing the St. Louis events coming up. So he is considered right now to be the, uh, to, I would say probably objectively the strongest American junior player at the moment. Um, but I think, I think that, uh, that Hans is showing he has the potential to, um, to, to improve. Not improve, sorry, but just to, uh, just to compete with other, with other very strong junior players. So it's very, very good. Um, he said he'll get to GM and he won't care about OTB except for Blitz and Rapid Thoughts. You know, it's, it's very hard. Um, I, I think, you know, I, I think like if, if I put myself back in that same situation, probably going back to when I was 15, 16, 17 years old, I was very lucky in many ways. I had, I had parents who, um, they, I, I had a stepfather who basically put everything, um, you know, he, he would basically spend the, the money he was making from teaching, um, towards, uh, towards towards me towards having the ability to travel like both my mom and i he would literally take take that money and he would spend it on the airplane tickets on the hotel so that my mom and i could go and uh could go and, and play in tournaments now in a case of like hans for example hans i would say he's not as fortunate i know i don't know his exact family situation but i know it's not as stable and um and so it's very very hard like you need a lot of support because when you're like a 2500 2550 gm you're um you're in a situation where you're playing to try and improve, but you're not getting, you're not getting, um, you're, you're not getting, uh, you're not getting sort of that support in the same kind of way. Um, so it's, it's very hard. I, I totally get it. You know, whether it's Hans, whether it's someone like Levy, like all these people who are international masters or even before they get to international masters, you're playing to improve and you're playing to improve and get better, but there is no actual reward at the end of the day. It's based solely on the ranking. So you're spending this money, or your parents are spending this money, and you're trying to improve, but you're not. You're not. Um, you know, you're you're not getting anything sort of like beneficial in the short term. It's all about the long term and hoping you get to a point where you can play, um, not play, but where you can get into these top level competitions. So it's very very rough. The lifestyle is not easy at all, and um, and so I'm I'm very well aware of that. Uh. The reward is the fun life that it gives you. You could say it's fun, but I could also say the argument that it's very, very stressful too. Like if you take if you take someone like Levy, for example, who's maybe 20, 24, 25. Levy should get to Grandmaster also, but the amount of work he's going to have to put in studying nonstop, playing two games a day, like I would not say that's fun because when something goes wrong, it's not, it's not a, it's not, it's not a joke at all. Or even for Hans, like Hans is playing these terms, he's going to become a GM. I mean, make no mistake about it, obviously. Um, but, but like Hans plays these tournaments and is, is it fun when it's the stress of every game? Like you play two games a day, you play for one week straight. If one little thing goes wrong, it's, um, it's, you know, it's still, it's, it's, it's very serious. It's, it's not a joke at all. Um, so, uh, so, so yeah. And, and I mean, Hans would say that too, that when you go play these, play these, these tournaments, like the only, the only thing that matters is like just playing well and winning the tournament. But if something goes wrong, one or two games go wrong, your memory of the whole tournament gets clouded and you're, you're in like, you're in a very bad state. So, uh, so yeah, that, that, that's, that's what I would say is that it's, um, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's rough. It's very, very rough. Um, is, is what I would say. So, um, uh, how did Queen E7 after King F8? No, you can't play Queen E7 check because you're King on H2 is pinned. GH7 is correct. Um, 
so so yeah that's that's what i would say there there is no drama you guys relax there is no drama um so there there is no drama so all right yeah yeah and, and what i'm saying you guys is not in any way um is is not in any way negative at all i i'm i'm simply giving hans some some basic basic general tips so it's yeah no, and I mean to, to to say that somehow I don't respect Hans or that that like all that is complete rubbish. He's a very talented junior player, very very talented. He's going to become a GM. Um, I would also add beyond that though, the other question in terms of Hans saying blitz and rapid chess is that it's very unclear. I would say the future is very very murky in terms of what the state of chess is going to be with like going forward with classical chess versus rapid chess and blitz chess. So when, when Han says he might not play classical chess, I'm not sure where classical chess is going down the road anyway. So Hans is, what Hans is saying could be very, um, it could turn out to be very accurate because if we don't have, um, if we don't have a lot of classical terms, blitz and rapid chess will matter more. So it makes, makes a lot of sense. Um, so can I play the clip again? Uh, I don't really want to play the clip clip again. Uh, I mean, I can play it one more time. Okay, I'll play it one more time for you guys, just because there are people filtering in still since we, we just started. Um, one more time. One more time. Now, now the real que the real question, you guys, is what... Let me go back. Do, do we see the first move that was played by Jeffrey? Okay, so that means that... Wait, no, but that means Jeffrey was just getting smoked here. Because Jeffrey is down a rook at this point, so Jeffrey is just getting smoked. Kind, well, I guess kind of. I mean, queen d2, rook d2, king g1, rook b2. Probably it's still winning for white. Rook f8, though, is a very nice move. So I think Jeffrey was just getting smoked regardless. This game was already over, um, probably over a few moves earlier since Hans was already up the rook. So let's keep watching. How am I this good at this game? How am I this fucking good? Holy shit! I am the fucking best. Now, one thing I wasn't clear on is what is the time? What is the? Oh my! I'll wait till after the clip. Is whether it's like, is it one hour of blitz games? Is it first to some score? I'm not sure what the format was exactly. Oh my fucking god. Get fucking down and bow down! How the fuck did I see that? Holy shit! Um, so, so yeah, I, what was the format? Can somebody... A couple things that I'll say, uh, just general, general. This has nothing to do with the with like what what Han said, but just general thing. What was the? Yeah, he was down three one. Let's not forget he was down three when he came back. But what was the um? What was the what was the four max? It says four three here. Was it like first to six? Best of it was it best of eight? I thought he won six four. Was it six four or five three? Maybe I have the final score wrong. I thought it was six to four. Oh, so, okay, so it was just, it was best of eight, so I had the score wrong. I thought it was 6-4, but it was 5-3 in, in reality. Okay, okay, so it was just best of eight. All right, Qu quite simple, straightforward. Okay, so that's the first thing. Jeffrey didn't take with the rook, because then you lose your queen on d2 square, because um, the rook guards the queen right now. So there, there is that. Um, there's there's that. Uh, so one second, let me just remove this for now. Um, so, so yeah, what, what, what I would say... Uh, Hans won. Four, oh, he won four in a row. Ah, okay. Best of eight. So it's three one, and he, and he won four in a row. Okay, yeah, yeah. Very, very nice. Um, uh, so, so yeah. The, the other thing I would say, which is very important. Um, uh, okay. Vortex. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be very, very clear, and I'll, I'll. This is just very, very clear. Uh, I, 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 I'm when I say when I say more class, you guys. I'm what I'm saying is that in general. Hans will mature and and he'll find a way to he'll find a way to use these emotions in a positive positive reinforcing way. But he is 17 17 16 17 he's 17 years old. If you're going to like try to make some argument that kids at 17 are supposed to be like perfect and not get emotional over, after a huge win, there there's just something wrong with you guys honestly. Like it, it's like it's like that good old saying from the Bible. He he, what's it? He who he he is not he is not committed sin shall cast the first stone or what whatever the saying is. Um, or he who is without sin shall cast thy thy stone. Um, whatever whatever that saying is. Um, 
anyway, uh, <laughs> so, uh, okay, you got, yeah, okay, sorry, I, that's, that's kind of random, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, that's kind of random, okay, okay, sorry, okay, anyway, um, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Okay, backing up for a second. Um, yeah, if, if anybody who was perfect at 17, um, like, yeah, you, you, you guys are, are uh, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, but but what I would say is that, yeah, Hans, Hans's play is great, and he totally should show emotion. It's a huge win for him, and I'm very happy. Yes, maybe he could have chosen more choice words, but in the heat of moment, everyone's done things, and I, I mean, I'm just very happy that he that he played a great match and won. Um, it's impo not impossible to get emotional, still be a s good sportsman. You know, it's interesting you say that because I've always wondered, like, why chess is different in that regard. And um, and, and I think I, even even on Reddit, I saw a little bit about this as well, which is like, uh, which is like, you know, why is it that with chess, why is it that, like, if this happened in CSGO, if Slicker said something like this, we'd be like, it, I mean, no one would even bat an eyelash. But, like, when someone does this in chess, it's like, OMG, like, it's just, like, it's the end of the world. Like, you know, it's, like, uh, it's just so bad. Like, it's just, it's, like, it's the end of the world if someone does this in chess. But, like, if Slicker did this with CSGO, like, no one would even, it would be like, okay, chess is, chess because chess is a gentleman's game. Okay, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I've always found that very odd, that, like, um, that, that like, it's because chess is considered more classy than CSGO. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's interesting. It's interesting to know because honestly, if there was a clip of me doing this, like if there's a clip of me doing this, like I totally would just get like roasted to no one. Everyone's like, look at this guy. You know what, 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 what an idiot. Like, see, he, he doesn't have any class. He's just like, I seriously would be considered like the worst person to have ever, ever walked the face of this earth. Um, but, but yeah, so it's just interesting to me that chess with chess, it, there's like, you can't, you can't be like this for some reason. Cause it's just really, really bad. Um, uh, so, so that's the one thing I was gonna say. Second thing I was gonna say also is this game, uh, I know this is Jeffrey in this case, so it's different, but this is the big difference between playing chess 3-0 versus playing 3-1 or 3-2 with an increment. Um, because in, in a game like this, Hans would lose this game 99.99% of the time if there was no increment down to five seconds. But that's why when you have increments, it's much different. You can get low on the clock and you still have to make good moves and you can't try to play on the clock as much. Um, and you still have to find quality moves. So, so that's, that's, that's what I would say, um, in, in general terms, uh, uh, about this game. And this is also, also why not to use another example of a junior, but, but I would say with Ali Reza Faruja, this is why he's, his results are not as good in some of these, um, some of these events with increments versus pure straight up 3-0. Because like when you get, when you get your opponent low on the clock in 3-0, you can just flag them. You run them over the clock. Um, you run them over on time, but when you have increment, even if you get to five or ten seconds, you still have to find good moves, and you still have to be qual play quality. Um, and it requires sort of a different mentality altogether. Um, so, so that's what I would add uh, in terms of this clip. All right, you guys. Um, <laughs>